Hey there. Have you been wondering about home prices in today's market? Wondering if prices, are they still falling? Asking, do lower home prices cancel out the higher interest rate? Hi, I'm Tammy Hall with LPT Realty, your real estate resource. So let's dive right in. Here in Central Florida, prices, they've stabilized. We're now in a more balanced market, but it's still considered a seller's market due to the low inventory. Um, I've heard a lot of people asking, even though I'm paying a higher interest rate, if I pay, say, $25,000 to $30,000 less, then it's going to be a wash, right? Well, not exactly. Here, I'd rather show you than tell you so you can make your own decision. Okay, sound good? Let's start with a sales price of $500,000. Interest rates, they're bouncing between 6 and 7% these days. So for our example, let's use 6 7 and 8%. And we'll use the 30-year fixed mortgage loan product as well. Your payment, it's going to be just under $3,000. Now remember, this is just the payment and interest. We're not figuring in the down payment and we're not including insurance and taxes at this time. This is just so that we can compare pricing to interest rates. So you'll be paying just under $3,000 a month and overall, you're gonna be paying $579,000 in interest. You're actually paying more for the money than you are for the house. This is why the interest rate is such an important factor. Now let's get back to our question. Remember, people were asking, even though I'm paying a higher interest rate, what if I pay, say, $25,000 or $30,000 less? Then it'll be a wash, right? Well, let's see. Say prices drop by $25,000. That's 5%. Let's say the interest rate at that time is 7%. With a 30-year mortgage loan product, your monthly payment went up by $162, and you'll pay $83,000 more overall. So even though you save the $25,000 off the sales price of the home, you're actually paying $162 more every month and a total of $83,000 more overall than had you paid the $500,000 for that same house at the 6% rate. Now, if you're waiting for that same house to drop by, say, another $50,000 or 10%, in the time that it took for the prices to drop by that 10%, interest rates they're probably going up. You see, interest rates, they do affect home prices. There's typically an inverse relationship between the two. When the Federal Reserve raises the interest rates, home buyers, they can't afford as much as before. So the demand falls and prices fall too. Okay, getting back to our example, let's use 8%. Now you might be thinking, Tammy, that's a 2% jump from the 6% rate. Is that realistic? Remember, in January 2022, rates were at three and a quarter, and 10 months later, rates had climbed to seven and a half percent. That's a four and a quarter percent jump. Okay, let's get back to the sales price of 450000 with the 30 year mortgage. You'll be paying $304 more every month for that same house, even though you paid $50,000 less. And you'll be paying $159,000 more overall. You might be wondering, what if that house dropped by, say, 100000 That's a 20% drop in price. The last time we saw a 20% drop in sales price was back in 2008. And side note, this is a completely different market than in 2008, where there was predatory lending and an oversupply of houses for sale. Today, we have much stricter guidelines in place like fully documented loans, and there's still a housing shortage. It's the complete opposite of 2008. But let's just say the prices did drop by 100000 Interest rates, they're most likely going to be going up. Remember, if prices are dropping, it's usually because the interest rate is going up. So let's use 8% again with the 30-year to see what would happen. Your monthly payment is actually $59 less than what you would have paid at the 6% rate at a sales price of 500000 But you'll be paying $77,000 more overall because the cost of money is costing you more. Now you might be saying, now Tammy, I don't plan on keeping the house for 30 years. I hear you, and you know what? Most people don't. Just keep in mind that the mortgage interest is front and loaded. Most of the monthly payment is going towards paying down that interest, and a very small portion goes towards the principal in the beginning. So the question, do lower prices cancel out the higher interest rates? What do you think? Give me a call or text me at this number right here on the screen or shoot me an email. I'd love to hear what you think. 
Give me a call so we can discuss your real estate needs in today's market. And remember, what you don't know in real estate, it can hurt you, but I'm here to help. Thanks so much for watching my quick video. Bye for now.